Hello, and welcome to your ninth grade monthly recommendations for the month of May. This video is in addition to the emailed copy of the recommendations that you have already received from your Haifa College planning coach. Be sure to locate and reference those emailed recommendations for any links or information you may want to review later. If necessary, reach out directly to your college planning coach for another emailed copy of the recommendations. This month, we're really thinking about going into your sophomore year of high school. This is the time to campaign for leadership positions and organizations or clubs that you're involved with next year. Maybe it's something that you've been involved with in your freshman year of high school and you want to move up and move around in that organization. So becoming a club president, running for class offices, offices, officer positions, create and lead a new club or organization, something that you see as a need. Leadership experience is one of the most highly prized student qualifications taught by college admissions officers. Even if you don't get the president or the very top position, being involved in some way, shape or form on the marketing side of things, the event side of things, understanding really how those organizations work, that's really gonna help round out your resume and give you a fuller experience while you're in high school. You're gonna to wanna to finalize your summer plans. If you're still unsure about them and want some additional suggestions, please contact your coach. You're gonna to wanna to plan to work hard this summer to impress your employers, supervisors, or class instructors. These are people that you may wanna ask for letters of recommendation later on um, in the fall of your senior year. So if you are in a volunteer position, a paid position, if you are in summer school, something along those lines, people that you might be nannying for or working as a, as a lifeguard for, that type of thing, those may be people that you are going to wanna get those letters of recommendations from. If you have a job this summer, Save as much money as possible for college. I know it's very tempting to spend all of that money on food and the movies and really fun things. So figure out a budget, start working with your parents. There's a number of resources that are online as well of how to create a, a working budget so you can start saving for your college as well at this point in time. You're gonna wanna discuss college options and cost with your parents. Calculate, again, how much you and your family can realistically afford to pay towards college and expenses. Keep in mind that public universities and colleges are usually less expensive than private universities if you are going in state. If you are going to a, a public university out of state, it's gonna have the same cost as a private university in state or out of state. So just look at that. It's not meant to limit your options or what you have in front of you, but just to make sure that you understand what those college costs are. And if you have questions about what the net cost of colleges could be and things that you should be thinking of as you're creating this plan, please reach out to your Heartland College planning coach and they can help you with some things to think about. You can use the federal financial aid website that you see here on the screen. It's also in the emailed version of your recommendations to learn about the cost of college and links to, the, to estimate the cost of different colleges. Again, that net cost is going to bring in any fees that are associated with that tuition, room and board, parking, you know, a lot of the different fees that go into what it costs to attend college. So check that out. It's a great time to really check in with your coach that one that you are working on this project and here's what you have learned. Maybe they have some different questions for you, some different points of research, those types of things. Just because you're coming to the end of the year doesn't mean you can give up on school. So do well on your financial, I'm sorry, your final exams and your projects. Impressive grades will help you get accepted into college and to help earn those merit-based scholarships. So a lot of people think that their freshman year of high school doesn't make a difference and it's a throwaway year. And we all know that that is not true. Each and every term, each and every year makes a big difference when it comes to our ability to be accepted. So do your best. So think, continue to think about your college majors during this coming summer. Conduct research on possible careers that may spark interest in a specific major. You can do that via Cooter. You, if you have any questions about that, reach out to your coach. That's a really great place for you to look at those potential careers that came up for you with your Cooter assessments, with other things that you have found in talking with people. It also gives you the corresponding major that goes along with that. Deciding what you like and don't like about something may help you weed out possible choices for careers, for majors, for schools, those types of things. So start making that list and start figuring out what you like and what you don't like. 
you're going to want to update your student resume and do this in Cooter if you don't have a, a Word document or a Google document with your resume. The Cooter is a really great place to start with that. It's keep up and add all of your freshman activities and accomplishments. Put as much information there as possible. You can always go back and delete that at a later time, but you don't want to have to go back later on as a junior and senior and try to remember the things that you did in your freshman year. And parents, if you are planning a trip this summer, consider visiting colleges in the area that you'll be visiting. This will help you and your student make later decisions. If you're unable to visit colleges in person, there are a number of different websites and things on the specific colleges and universities and some other websites that also offer um, multiple schools and universities in one location where you can do virtual tours. Reach out to your Haifa College planning coach for those links and for what that could look like. And here's a great life skill to start thinking about. Do you have a bank account? Do you know how to write a check, make a deposit, withdrawal, or check your balance? This goes along with that creating a budget piece, but really thinking about getting that. This is a great place if you create this bank account where you can put your summer job money in and you can figure out how to budget it from there. For any follow-up questions, clarification on recommendation points, or to report any updates, please contact your Haifa College planning coach directly. Thank you and best wishes for a productive month of May.